Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integer n, that is the number of boxes to be stored, then the n integers, where each integer represents the distance between the box and the warehouse. The boy can take at most two boxes for each travel and print the minimum distance the boy must travel to store in boxes. Now we'll take our first test case. So here n is equal to 5. So first for the first travel he collects 11 and 8 and for the next travel he picks up 7 and 5 and for the next travel he collects 3. So now the total distance will be 11 plus 7 plus 3 so he has to return to it right so we'll be multiplying it by 2 so the total distance would be 42 now we'll take our second test case so here the n is 5 n is 10 so first you will collect 37 and 33 and for the next travel you will collect 32 and 30 and for the next travel you will collect 24 and 20 and for the next travel it is 19 and 18 and we have 16 sorry 17 and 16 so the total distance will be 37 plus 32 plus 24 plus 19 plus 17 so into 2 as he must return so our total distance would be 258 so the logic of this program is that first we have to sort the array and if the n is odd means we have to consider the boxes at even indices else consider the boxes at odd indices so when we consider our first test case first we'll sort them so after sorting them as n is odd we'll consider the even indices that is 3 7 and 11 so the same way first we'll sort here then After sorting, here the integer n is 10. So since it is even, we have to consider the odd indices. So that's how we have got the output. Now let us implement our program. First we'll get the integer n. And then 
we'll get the boxes as list then first we have to sort them so boxes dot sort of then after sorting we'll have the variable total distance equal to zero then for index in range zero comma n we'll have if the index mod two is not equal to n mod two means we have to consider that index so if the boxes of index so if the integer n is even means we have to consider the odd indices right so for that we have used this statement now finally we'll print the total distance multiplied by 2 now let us execute our program with our first test case so we have got the correct output that is 42 now we'll take our second test case so here we have got 258 which is also the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.